When you see a road, a home, or a building being built, have you ever wondered how the construction might impact the plants and animals living nearby? That's a question environmental scientist Nikki Fernandez looks to answer every day. Anytime that you have construction, of course there's going to be some level of impact to plant and animal species. Fernandez works at Environmental Services Incorporated in Jacksonville, Florida. Her job is to work with real estate developers to ensure that their construction projects follow the federal, state, and local laws that are in place to protect the environment. We want to make sure that developers do stay within the regulations and that they develop in a manner that is going to help protect the environment as much as possible and protect all of the plant and animal species that are on an area prior to development. One major concern for Fernandez is protecting Florida's wetlands. These fragile, swamp-like ecosystems provide a habitat for countless plants and animals, including several threatened and endangered species. Today, Fernandez is working at a site that will ultimately become a residential neighborhood, complete with streets, houses, driveways, and backyards. The engineer then takes our wetland line. Before a construction company even breaks ground, Fernandez and her team conduct a careful study of the property where the development is proposed. We're going to take a look at aerial photographs. We're going to look at soils maps, national wetland inventory maps. We're going to take a look at those to determine approximately where the wetlands may be. And these lighter areas are typically wetland areas. Once the borders of the wetland areas are located, Fernandez works with engineers and developers to map out where and how the development can occur so it doesn't encroach upon the wetlands. We work really, really diligently with the engineers as they're doing the development and uh, the developers themselves to ensure that the project is uh, developed in a way that does allow plants and animals um, to, to maintain their, their natural state. Next, Fernandez investigates the area for the presence of any threatened or endangered animals. Some animal species may actually force the developers to halt construction permanently. For example, this can happen with the discovery of bald eagle nests, which cannot be disturbed. But other animals, like the gopher tortoise, can be safely relocated to conservation areas. Plants can also be moved or protected from construction, such as these beautiful live oak trees. In Florida, live oaks are protected under several different tree ordinances. We decided to change the configuration of that entrance road to help ensure that several of these large live oak trees were not impacted by that roadway. During actual construction, it's just as important to minimize other possible impacts, like pollution from bright lights, loud noises, and other causes. We're going to place an upland buffer. To help achieve this, it's required that there be a 25-foot buffer zone surrounding all of the wetland areas. These buffer zones have to be left alone. Nothing can be built on them. Sometimes, no matter how many precautions are taken, some of the wetland areas are encroached upon. In some of these cases, the developer is responsible for creating new wetland areas at a different location to help offset the impacts. Native vegetation is planted that will attract wildlife, and over several years, the creation zone is designed to grow into a healthy, mature wetland. This area is actually going to help with plant and animal species because it is creating wetland habitat that animals will be able to utilize for things such as breeding and food production and reproduction. Finally, with construction completed, Fernandez has played an important role of helping developers create new homes for humans while protecting the habitat of plants and animals. The area that we're standing in is a recently developed residential neighborhood. As you can see, these homes here are right up against natural wetland areas. And these areas behind these homes have been protected so that they will stay there forever. Take a look around where you live. What if a company wanted to start a major construction project near your home or school? Make a list of the plants and animals that might be affected.